everything is a lie. Everything is a scam. And that's just what I believe. Hey y'all, welcome back. And I just wanted to discuss today that it's all a lie, it's all a scam. And you should just be going after what you want in life. You should be waking up every day deciding today is going to be the day that I make a change in my life because my time is ticking. And as of right now, I'm sitting outside of the office. This could be somebody's dream job. This probably is somebody's dream job. You know, um, it's people who look up to certain people and they are in awe by them and all of these different things. Since I've been in this industry, I have not been in the awe of anybody but myself <laughs> like dang I did that oh I did that oh I did that and then at a certain point it got to a point where it was just like okay this is expected okay what can I do next while in it I realized a lot of things in my personal life and just in general you know in my personal and professional life it's like it's all a scam <laughs> it's all a lie it's all a lie you know it's all about control the media what they can put in front of your face and get you to believe so even when I talk the way that I talk around certain people they think I'm crazy or they just they can't follow me they can't comprehend I sound crazy to them but I think back to being a child and the lies you know they had our they had our parents tell us a lie the lie starts with your parents first they had us talk about santa claus they had us talking about you know the easter bunny the tooth fairy you know then we watching certain shows they got us believing in certain things i'm watching mtv cribs i'm watching music videos i'm thinking all of this stuff is real like this is the life like i want to be there i want to live this life I want to drive this car. I want to live in this house. I want to do all of the things. Then you come to find out MTV Cribs, the only person crib who was real was Mad Man. What, what role do you think that episode played in showing the world that, that not every rapper is as rich as they claim to be? Well, I mean, that was, that was, that was the whole thing of the show. Like, I ain't have nothing to do with their platform or the show. Their show was to show artists living lavish in the house and and i was looking at that shit as well before i even did it i was like damn every goddamn artist house is just clean and shit and <laughs> you know that's how they really living like really no furniture all the furniture is neat and shit and all over the i was like nah i said for some reason i feel like some of them motherfuckers is just renting the house to do that shit and uh find out some of them was i can't do that you know i ain't want to do that I wanted to show where the fuck I was living at at the time. And, uh, you know, they, I, <laughs> I don't know if they thought it was a good idea and shit, mm -hmm. but uh, I said, yeah, just come to my house because they wanted me to rent a house. And they wanted me to rent a house so I could open the big double doors and shit like, yo, look at my shit, you know. And then people around my way been like, you know goddamn well that wasn't your house. And my mother right. would have told me, you know damn well that wasn't your goddamn house. You might as well say, they wasn't flexing. That was just their real life. You know, everybody has these big houses and these cars. And you find out it was rented. Everybody on social media and they in jets or they on vacations. But they don't even know what their next meal is going to be tomorrow. They in the condos. They don't even know how their rent going to get paid. They behind on their rent. It's so much stuff that people are showing y'all that is warping y'all mind to be a certain way to say, this is what I need to obtain. This is what I need to have in order to say I'm successful. This is where I need to get. And a lot of times those people are not even successful. <laughs> they just imposters. They just lying about it. They just faking it until they make it. 
because they haven't even made it yet. And it's so much that has been programmed into us for us to believe when a lot of stuff is a lie. When they really say history is really his story. It's not your story. It's his story. It's somebody else's story. Not yours. And the problem I have with us is that we don't go seek out our own stories. That's why I love talking to older people. I love hearing older people and what they had to say. What was going on during this time? What was happening during this time? You learn your history. You learn your story. So it don't repeat itself. That's why you learn it. But you looking up and you seeing things repeat itself over and over and over again. And that's because we're addicted to the cycle. We're addicted to the lies. We're addicted to somebody lying in our face. When we should be aware and we should see what's going on, but we so blinded that we're okay with the lies. The lies is comfortable for us. If somebody tell us the truth, then that makes us uncomfortable. That makes us uncomfortable because you don't want to hear the truth. You block out the truth. And sometimes they even tell you that and you still, you still believe in the lies. And everything that they want us to know is put in movies. I work in this business. I work in it. And I don't want to, but I have to in order to feed myself. This is my skill. This is my God-given skill that I have, my talent. I was also born with other skills and talents that I'm working on, that I'm nurturing. So this is why I'm getting on here talking to y'all. But at the same time, you know, <laughs> this is what got me started. This The skill that I have right now that I'm doing is what got me started in my journey to me, that's a blessing because not everybody gets to do what I do. Not everybody gets to shop for a living. Like, I get to just swipe a card all day. Not everybody gets to do that. So, I'm thankful for that. But at the same time, it's just sad. It's just sad that we believe in so many lies and that even now, it's like, okay, people are waking up to the truth, but then now... You got other black people trying to scam other black people. <laughs> like, it just... I don't I don't think we'll win. Like, I want us to win. That's why I'm talking to y'all. I want us to win. I want to have hope and faith in us. But it just don't be looking bright sometimes. And I also be wondering, and I'm going to leave y'all with this. I also be wondering if black people are where they are because <laughs> y'all listen to the lies. Y'all listen to the lies and y'all accept them. And you don't want to change and you don't want to work together to make stuff better because you don't want to take on that responsibility. You run from responsibility. You think everything is not that deep when it is. And then one day you might wake up and it's too late. So yeah, on that note, I'm going to exit. And I thank y'all for tuning in to my video today. And I'll see y'all in my next one. I don't know what it's going to be about. It's probably just going to be random. But hope you like this video. Um, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Peace.